we're going to deploy the ETC applications onto our Kubernetes cluster. The Kubernetes cluster is having two nodes, node one and node two, running on the VirtualBox VMs. More information about the Kubernetes cluster is can be seen on the screen from the Kubernetes dashboard right here. In order to deploy the EPC network functions and applications, we're going to use the Rancher server, which is acting as the orchestrator um, to control the Kubernetes cluster. We go into the Rancher and on the top left corner, of the Rancher Manager, we pick up the Application and Marketplace menu. And once we're in that menu, there's a huge list of the ham chart that uh, we can pick up for our applications. And of those, we will pick Open Virtual Repository with the list of ham charts to deploy the open source telco applications and we hit the open 5gs this one is the ham chart that uh, includes the applications of the 5g core as well as the etc that we want to deploy we hit this one and choose the preferred namespace of the Kubernetes cluster. We name the ham chart etc 5g core. For the values, for the time being, just leave all of the values there with the default values. And we want to watch into this namespace to see more details about the process of resource being created. So we look into this namespace open telco file and we watch the port. Hit install. The ham charts is installing resources needed for this application. From the command line interface, it also says containers are being created. You can also see that from this Kubernetes dashboard GUI Let me check. Okay. And once we in the namespace, we can see a list of resources were created successfully. Deployment port. Replica set, stateful set, and services. So they're all now up and running. Let's go to into details of the port. And here are the list of the ports that created. So like for the EPC, the 4G packet core system, we can see HSS, MME, PCIF, S Gateway C, S Gateway U. Network functions are created for the 5G core, AMF, AUSF, NRF, 
SMF, UDM, UDR, and UPF are created successfully. Let's go into one of the key control plane nodes, a network function of the EPC, which is the MME. We can see the logs and it says it's up and running. The same for the SSS. S gateway C, S gateway U, UPF. UPF here is acting as the P gateway U uh, in the EPC 4G packet core system. So all of those network functions of the EPC are now up and running and they're ready to provide the services for the telco or the LTE network. Then we have successfully deployed the EPC applications onto our native cloud container-based Kubernetes cloud infrastructure.